Hi, this is Dusty Ramsbottom. I'm here with another music bingo tutorial. This is a pretty good one, so uh, buckle in. We're going to go through an entire setup of a music bingo stage from the backside. I'll throw some uh, clips from our shows so you can see how it looks from the front, or if you've been to a show, it's pretty obvious. Now you get to see it in reverse, which is going to be quite a bit of fun. So, I have pretty much everything I need. I only brought one speaker in, um, but I'm going to show you backwards. So. Um, we're going to blow out that way. I bought these new rollers, which are pretty cool, and I'll show you how that extends to be one of our, uh, our setups. Um, everything pretty much fits in one crate, and I've got an amplifier here, uh, two speakers. I'll start by setting up the speaker just to get that out of the way. Sometimes I use one stand, sometimes I use two. Really it depends on how much room I have at the setup. So maybe I'll. If I have footage from both different kinds of shows, then I will uh, I'll show you both. So pretty straightforward. Make sure that uh, your knobs are nice and tight. Use the safety bar for your speakers. Safety bar goes in, that goes tight. Speaker goes like that. Now really, you would want to go a little bit higher. You want it to be like, uh, blasting out, filling the entire room. If you need to, you can always raise it. If I have tables right in front of me, I will uh, maybe put it a little bit higher so it's not blasting them right in the face. Okay, so that's one. I, I might put another one over there, or sometimes I even put one just on the ground and keep the low. It depends on the room and how I want to bounce the sound around the room. You know, there's different contours. You'll figure that out and we'll even do a whole other video just how to position speakers um, so it best fills a room. And sometimes you don't want to fill a room. Sometimes you want to keep a little quiet area in the back somewhere. So anyways, so this is the back. Uh, when I'm ready, I will plug in my speaker wire to right here. That's my speaker out on my amplifier. Um, you have different ways of setting up with speakers and amplifiers, but I recommend an amplifier with two speakers uh, or more. You can do more speakers. You can go in series if you like. Sometimes we do shows with one speaker box um, and sometimes we even use Bluetooth. So if I use Bluetooth, I can go straight from my speaker box to, let me grab you and I'll show you. I forgot about this. battery-powered, so I unplugged it from the wall, and as you can see, it's still there. So I can Bluetooth my uh, device, my laptop, stereo, whatever I'm using, right to one of these bad boys, got some settings up here, then it's all wireless. But essentially, this is the same as this. You know, this goes to two speakers, this has a built-in amplifier and speakers, so, um, but I find better sound, better functionality with this, but it's up to you. Also depends on the size of your room. All right, so back to here. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Um, I usually have this facing myself because I'm gonna be moving the knobs. So wherever I'm gonna be, I want it to be kind of facing me. But at the same time, I don't want the wires to look ugly for everyone out there. So I might go like this. And if I've got a little shielding over here, I can fit that. I can put the wires back behind that, okay? I'll put this stuff down here for now. And now my, this actually really makes it nice and easy to bring your stuff in and out too from, uh, from your gigs. So I bought these, you put it together, they're on Amazon. I'll, uh, I'll give you a link in the description below of where to buy these and how to put them together. What I do with this, I'm a pretty tall guy. So I like this a little bit higher than bar height, which I think is 42 inches. So a little bit higher than that, but you know, you, you adjust it to wherever fits best for you. Make sure you tighten those nicely. Okay, so this is pretty much the, the, the basis. You can lock these down if you like, but honestly, I kind of like whipping them around. I think it's kind of funny sometimes to move around. Roll. Now I open my gear. 
So I've got a microphone stand. Again, I will give you a link of where to buy microphone stands. This pitch is right over here. Microphone set, phone set. If I loosen this, it'll spin nice and easy. That's ready for my microphone. Here's my games. I keep all my mu music bingo games in a nice little box like this. And uh, I got the Beatles, I got the 90s, body parts, that's what we played just uh, the other day. Put those back. Gotta put those back in the right spot. Okay. I like, uh, I like when people kind of can see what's going on. So I'm gonna turn that around. That's part of my display. Kind of fills up this gap too. Okay, so I've got my wires, I've got my speaker wires, speaker wire, microphone wire. Microphone wire is called an XLR. This is a quarter inch wire, male to male quarter inch, like that. That's a speaker wire. This is male to female XLR wire. Okay, there's there. Um, I do have another speaker wire, but I only brought one speaker to show you guys, so usually I would have two. I'll need my microphone, and I need a power cord for my amplifier. I also bring to shows a power bar. I always have at least one power bar. I usually bring a, a dance light, so this is just a little dance light. Sometimes people get dancing, some people, sometimes it's just nice to have one of these and it kind of feels, um, you know, trivia-esque. Also got a little thing for this. There's all different kinds of dance lights. This one was like $9. I have different ones for different shows, but I always keep at least one with my gig so I can use it when I need it. I got little pens. Pens, look at this, Hartford tips. I actually make quite a bit of tips, you believe it or not. So I put that right there, make sure you can see my tips. This You'll find that some shows people need to have a microphone. Guess what I got? A toy little microphone for somebody else. When they want to grab this one, I hand them this one. Um, and then I have one more wire which this wire is actually even optional, and this goes from your device to your amplifier. I have Bluetooth on my device and my amplifier, so if I want, I can use Bluetooth instead. I've got some buzzers. You can get buzzers from our trivia store. I like to bring out a red and a green one, because when they're playing bingo, if they've got a correct bingo, they get a green one. If they get it wrong, they missed one. Pretty straightforward. Um, when I put, out, I, I'll have another table too. Uh, I'll show you a picture of another table um, that I'll put in front. Uh, one with prizes and one where I actually put out the bingo cards and the daubers when we're ready to go. And I usually give them markers as well. All right, I do have a few like toys and some tape and some uh, notebooks in there too, just if I need them. And very often I bring them up. I've got another notebook here with some of my uh, my cards and advertisements for the other shows that we have. Good for keeping score. Here's our daubers. So I'll take all my daubers and I'll put them on a table out front in a nice display. And when I'm ready to start the game, I'll put the bingo cards on the same table. Okay. That's pretty straightforward, so I'll just put those down there for now, and I'll show you the rest of plugging in the equipment, and uh, we'll be ready to go. So we need power for this amplifier. It does not have a battery like the other one. There you go. One of those. That's powered in, speaker wires. So now, usually there would be like a wall or something here, but I'm doing it backwards. 
Um, I do have tape where I can tape it down, or there's also plastic or rubber mats that you can put the wire in and lay it down so people don't trip over the wire too. I'll also show you where to buy those. Again, you don't have to get all that at once. If you don't have a rubber mat to cover your wires, it doesn't mean you're not an entertainer. Anyways, I usually do those nicely in the back. And wrap. I'm doing this maybe a little quicker than I usually do. And stick into either one there. If you want to go series with another speaker, you can go out and into another one. Or if you want to stretch that way, you can go out and then into the next one. The thing with that is you're not going to get left and right. It's all going to be the same, same side, mono. Okay, and then I'll turn this here for you so you can see. I've got my email. Okay, no, no. Anyways, that goes in there. Again, it'll probably take a little time to clean up these wires after I finish everything up, make sure they're hidden nicely. I always use channel two, just because uh, if someone else is using it, they usually go to channel one, and I know that channel two is already set to my voice, the low and the high. I plugged it in, so the power should work now. Wire my... Make sure it's turned down. Make sure things are turned down, it's smart. Make sure that this isn't right in front of you. And, you know, find where you're going to be comfortable. Because you're going to be facing right here. Now I can do my mic check. Main goes up. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. I'm going to turn my microphone on. Check, check, one, two. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, that works. If it, uh, if I need a little more bass, I can go my low here. Hey, hello, hey. Same thing with high. Okay. Um, there's also on this particular app, I can do more EQ stuff over here. And finally, aux in goes to my device that's going to be playing music. Again, I have Bluetooth on here, so if I wanted to do Bluetooth, I would hit Bluetooth and sync up that way. Um, otherwise, this goes straight into my laptop tablet, phone even. You can do any of those. Uh, with the wire or without, because almost everything it has Bluetooth nowadays. You're pretty much looking at it from the back, so I don't know how long that took, but um, you're pretty much ready to go. I do one more speaker. I'm ready to start telling people the rules. Hey, get ready for music bingo. Coming at you in about three songs time. Let's start playing music, and we're good to go. Pretty easy. Um, check out the next video. I'll go into detail. And uh, maybe the next one will be, like I said, how to best set up your speakers so it sounds great everywhere. Thanks for watching.